All Things Mavs. Mavs fans, what's going on? Welcome into All Things Mavs. Today, I'm going to give you the predictions for Luka Doncic when the season restarts in Orlando, Florida. He's the best player on the team. He's been having some amazing practices, and now I want to tell you exactly what he's going to do and what we can expect from him when the season gets started. Now, so far since he's been in Orlando, he's been doing great. According to Rick Carlisle, he has been a vocal leader on the court, and he has been able to step up and do things in practice that we haven't seen from him normally during the regular season. J.J. Brea, the seasoned veteran, the only NBA champion on this Dallas Mavericks team, has come out and said that he is one of the best players in the NBA. And as long as the Dallas Mavericks have him on their team, they, quote, have a chance. So here's what I want you to do right now. Before I give you my prediction, I want to know from you guys, how many points per game do you think Luka Doncic is going to average when the season gets going again in Orlando? So again, they're going to play eight regular season games, and then they're going straight to the playoffs. So in those eight games, what is he going to put up? Let me know down in the comment section below. And let me remind you of what those eight games are going to look like and the opponents they're going to go up against. They're going to start off with a fun one on July 31st against the Houston Rockets, followed by the Phoenix Suns, the Sacramento Kings, and then probably the toughest game they're going to play in those first four, the Los Angeles Clippers on August 6th. Now, right after that, they're going to go from the Clippers to the Milwaukee Bucks, the best team in the Eastern Conference, Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's going to be a fun one on August 8th. And then they've got the Utah Jazz, who's kind of hampered by injuries right now on August 10th. And that will be the first day of their only back-to-back -back in this eight-game stretch where they'll play the Portland Trailblazers next. And then for the second time in those eight games, they're going to play the Phoenix Suns to round out their schedule. Now, we're super excited about it here at Chat Sports. We're going to be doing previews for the games. We're going to be giving you some recaps, and we're going to break down every single game. So you're going to want to make sure you have subscribed to the channel. So what I want you to do is if you've subscribed, let us know in the comment section below. And here's how I want you to let me know. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm a big fan of using emojis for all of our Dallas Mavericks. So what emoji should I start using for Luka Doncic? If you've subscribed, put your suggestion down below in the comment section. Now, to accurately predict what Luke is going to do in these eight games, I wanted to take a closer look at the best eight-game stretch he has had this season. So, when I took a look at that, early or at the end of 2019, right at the end of the calendar year, Luka had an eight-game stretch in which he put up 34 points per game, 9.9 .9 rebounds, 9.8 assists, and he was shooting better than 37% from three. That three-point percentage is huge because it's way better than what he's been doing throughout the season as a whole. Now, some more notes on that stretch in those eight games where he was just on fire and couldn't be stopped. The Mavs went 7-1. and one. That's right. They only dropped one game in those eight games that Luka did that. In that same stretch, he recorded three different 40-point games, which is the kind of performance you need from your best player when you're going into the playoffs. Now, along with those 40-point games, he put up two different triple-doubles as we've become kind of spoiled by the amount of triple-doubles he's done. And the only loss in that stretch came at the hands of the Los Angeles Clippers. So, you know, a good team, and it was a tough loss, but the Mavs still looked great, and more importantly, Luka Doncic looked even better. Now, with the return of basketball, that means ball is back, and you need all the gear you can find, all the Dallas Mavericks gear you want, you can find it at Fanatics. When you go to chatsports.com slash Mavs back, they've got all these great ball is back t-shirts about our Dallas Mavericks, because guys, Mavs basketball is coming back. So go hit up that link and go check out Fanatics today. Let's keep talking about Luka Doncic here. I want to talk about what he's done against the eight teams and then what I think he's going to do against the eight teams when it actually restarts. So I went into the trenches. I found all of these stats for you. I put all of his averages together into one. And when you look at the eight teams that he's played and what he's done against them this season, he's averaged 30.3 points per game. 8.8 .8 rebounds, 8.6 assists, one, better than one steal, and the three-point percentage has taken a dip. Now, when it comes back and when the NBA is back, I think Luka Doncic is going to average a triple-double. In fact, I don't think it. I know it. I am 100% confident Luka's going to step up and be able to average a triple-double in these final eight games leading into the playoffs. 30.1 points per game. That's my prediction for his scoring, so I'll take back 0.2 points from him. I think he's going to be pulling down at least 11 rebounds because – in all honesty, the Mavs are going small. I mean, they've been rolling Dorian Finney-Smith out at the center position, so they're going to be smaller. He's going to have to rebound more. I think he's going up to 10 assists per game. Kristaps Porzingis is hitting his stride. He's going to be his new favorite target. Steals will be about the same, and that three-point percentage still isn't going to be great, but it's going to be better than his season average. So you can bet your bottom dollar. Luka Doncic is going to be a lot of fun to watch at the end of this year, and if you want to keep up with all of it, make sure you subscribe to youtube.com 
slash all things Mavs. Mavs fans, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.